Students are returning to class today, but their schedules aren't the same. Across the country, COVID concerns are delaying their return to class after the holidays. Omicron has changed the game and schools have to weigh the safety of their students and staff. Esther Bauer shows us how going back to school looks different for students today. Whitworth University's campus is quieter than normal on their first day back to class because most classes are being held online. It's a change students understand but are hoping doesn't last. Be back to normal. The Omicron variant prompted Whitworth to postpone in-person learning through January 9th. Because Omicron showed up so close to Thanksgiving, giving and Christmas, there really was time, not a lot of time, to know what was going to happen. Whitworth starts earlier than most local universities, so they're using this week as a buffer. Some interactive classes are still happening, but the rest are virtual. I really hope that it will get over after a week. Yep. So we don't have to like continue being in online. Nor Kamal says it's harder for him to learn online since English isn't his first language. If it was in person, I just can raise my hand and ask questions. Whitworth knows this isn't ideal for anyone. We know what we do best, and we do best when we are face to face. Randy, how are you approaching this school year when every single day it seems like there's something new and something has um, changed? We're all tired of it. We all want it to go away, but we all know what our mission is, and our mission is to provide a great education of mind and heart uh, to our students. Eastern Washington and Gonzaga are set to start in person next week with some changes. At Gonzaga, students are required to be boosted when eligible, and they have to test within 48 hours of returning to campus. Eastern Washington is advising people to get tested, but not requiring it. All employees, including student employees, have to start mandatory weekly testing if not vaccinated on January 10th. And as students all over the Inland Northwest prepare to head back to class this week and next, we'll continue to keep you updated on evolving winter plans with growing COVID concerns. Reporting from Whitworth University tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.